How does Apple Valley win the Mojave River League championship game? The Sun Devils established control out of the gate, opening with a time-consuming scoring drive that sets the tone for what besets the Oak Hills Bulldogs throughout the entire first half. The 71-yard drive was hardly void of imperfection. Among the 19 plays deployed, Apple Valley had to fall on their own fumble in one case, and there are penalties on both teams. Encroachment Four three times the against the Bulldogs. Too much time by the Sun Devils. The latter backing them up in the red zone and setting up a third and ten at the 14. 6'5", 224-pound junior signal caller Jaden Denigal takes it in himself. We have seen Jaden Denigal score exactly the same way against every MRL opponent this season. Scouting reports warn of this threat. What the Bulldogs had not scouted was the speed and quickness of Damian Guillen, who carries for the first time this season after a pulled hamstring sidelined him up to this point. Damian Guillen was summoned following this play. Leading ball carrier Caleb Most has to come off when his helmet comes off. Rules require the player be dispatched when his helmet is detached. Damian Guillen's first three carries are for 10 yards, then six, then 10 again. The grinded out opening drive, very much by design. For the opening drive, I'd say we set a, mi we set a mindset for this whole week and we came out and just dominated. We put all the D-line on the ground, our all line over here just demolishing, and we got Jaden, and we got Damian, we got most just running the ball. So otherwise, it was a pretty good drive. So, okay, the goal of running the ball effectively against the Bulldogs' defense was achieved early. But still in question, can the defense stop an Oak Hills offense that had rallied for 20 second-half points in the Bulldogs' 28-20 loss to Serrano? Oak Hills' first three plays on offense provide some answers. 55, James Reed and company, the final play of the first quarter, first play of the second quarter. Marquis Cato picks off the errant pass at the 20. The quick pick six makes it 14 to nothing. Uh, honestly, man, on that play, they just kind of threw the ball up to me. Right then and there, you know, I knew it. I was like, I'm trying to make a name for myself. I seen the ball in there, I was like, let me just go get it and set the tone in. Uh, early up for our team. Here's how Oak Hill's third possession ends. Outside linebacker Gavin Hambrick intercepts at the 43 and returns it 20 yards. Gavin Hambrick, 6'2", 220, a junior. Uh, the interception, we've been working on that play all week. They would swing out the running back and they'd replace the linebacker and I was just ready for it. We practiced it all week, got the greatest quarterback in the high desert and we just worked on it over and over again. It was a great experience, worked on it all week. Five plays after the interception, it is 21 to nothing. Jaden Denigal's strike to Ethan Peratt, the Sun Devils two-way starting senior co-captain. Ethan Peratt, six foot 190, bound for NAIA Benedictine College in Atchison, Kansas on a full scholarship. Gang tackling resumes with the outset of Oak Hill's third possession. Four is sophomore linebacker Dustin Reynolds. He is 6'2", 208, the team's tackles leader on the season. The Sun Devils defense continues its domination. James Reed the sack. The 6'1", 225-pound junior nose guard, another two-way starter. He centers the offensive line. Apple Valley's ensuing offensive series ends when the 5'5", flyweight speedster Damian Guillen, the fleetest of the Sun Devils' fleet of skill players, sprints 42 yards to score. After sideline until this, his first game he's played, as you'd expect, Damian Guillen is happy to be out there. Um, it was nice to get back with the O-line blocking for me again. It was just nice to have that feeling again. Let's go to second half action, dissecting Oak Hill's overall play along the way with the advantage of retrospect. Eight is Ricky Lee Medina, senior middle linebacker. Adrian Rodriguez, four leading tacklers, these two straight plays. Adrian Rodriguez, 6'1", 210, senior linebacker. The Oak Hill's script 
in this loss, very similar in pattern to what befell them a week earlier at Serrano, where they were ambushed by 20 unanswered first half points before regrouping at halftime, aiding and abetting both setbacks, turnovers, as in passes intercepted. Two, the first half by the Diamondbacks, four passes picked off this game by the Sun Devils. These turnovers bedeviled the otherwise very effective second half running attack led by Prince Thomas. The 5'7", 155-pound junior scored two touchdowns in the second half rally against Serrano the week prior. Prince Thomas leads this day's second half offensive output, scoring the Bulldogs' touchdown against the Sun Devils. By many standards, Oak Hills outplayed Apple Valley the second half even on defense. Oak Hills shut out the Sun Devils the second half until the Jaden Denegal to Michael Wang touchdown closed out the scoring with but two minutes remaining in the game. The football championship is the seventh for Apple Valley. Sun Devils football was christened with championships its first two years, 1967 Pinion League, 1968 Chaparral League, under Coach Sam Samaniego. Three San Andreas League crowns under Coach Dan Hook, 1979, 1981, and 1984. The 2017 MRL title under Matt Rohrbaugh, and the seventh, this COVID postponed and abbreviated championship under first year coach Kyle Godfrey. The Community Table Restaurant Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting Victor Valley teams and athletic programs.